The Long March of Solace is a journey that every Primarch of the Enderium Empire must take to connect spiritually with Emperor Vitalian, and Primarch Talos was no different than the rest. While traditionally the Primarch would choose a successor on his departing day from Enderus, this time there was absolutely no question of who would succeed him. In the end, there could be no other worthy of the task than the first Lord of Enderus, Exfin. Even as crowds still cheered the departing ship of Talos and the Steel Guard saluted Exfin for the first time, plans for a great revitalization were already being drawn up. While sharing many traits with his predecessor, the new Primarch passed over any ceremony of the transfer of power getting straight to work. The first project to be undertaken was the reformation of the Enderium's Byzantine bureaucracy. Multiple corps, departments, ministries, and adepts performed tasks that were either non-essential, obsolete, or ancient in their management systems. They also conflicted in overlapping areas of influence leading to a complicated bureaucratic mess, slowing down trade, military deployments, and communication. All government agencies were broken down into their core components and reformed with strict zones of influences over society, allowing for specialization to run its course. With the reformation in bureaucracy, Primarch X Finn could get to work on the real goal of his reign, and the realization of the future of the Empire. While normally the first actions of a Primarch outside of the Enderium Palace was a military campaign to cement their influence and rule to the other Sector Lords, instead X Finn turned to diplomacy with the powers of the Northern Expanse, the Dwarven realm of Rivendale securing massive industrial loans in exchange for outdated military technology, and the Archland Confederacy for Archaeotech in exchange for a mutual defense pact. The reverse engineering of the Archland Archaeotech aided in the development of the Autoforge, a device which allowed equipment to be printed by nanites rather than the traditional Enderium constructors. Utilizing this platform, the Enderous mother planet of Amigos was transformed into an industrial powerhouse rivaling an entire sector in output through its forge veins. On almost every world the Earthworks core worked tirelessly, with countless forge, industrial, agri, and urban worlds beginning to spring up across the colonies in the outer sectors. In 2332 PIAA units of the Enderium army arrived on planets for the first time not carrying rifles in their hands but shovels. The industrialization of the colonial sector brought new opportunities to the core allowing it to focus on more scientific-minded objectives. This manifested in the completion of Exfin's Forge, a ring world solely dedicated to the production of industrial goods and military components. Armed with the forge of Exfin the Primarch went about returning to the traditional expenditure of the Enderium state. An overhaul of end drive yards was commissioned and a sixth generation navy began production, units of the mobile infantry were given new equipment and battle doctrines were refined across the empire with color-coded plans drawn up for war scenarios that might arise. However, on a pilgrimage to the Valley of the Kings, X Finn received a vision from the divine emissaries of the Twelve Kings, and Vitalian himself of a gateway with the ability to tap into the Immaterium Gateway Network, and it was at the black hole of Viscarian's Moor where X Finn learned how to contrast what would be deemed the Infinity Gate. But nevertheless the second founding of the Enderium Empire is well underway, and the nation has not sat idle as pristine worlds are claimed and the economy strengthened, advanced ships have entered service of a size and power never before seen. New technologies have been mastered and the pure world that founded and sustained the Enderium Empire has not once faltered. In the century since the Third War of Shadow and Iron, Enderus has been transformed from a battered empire still recovering from invasion, to the capital of a galaxy. The sons of Vitalian have awoken, and now the galaxy will feel their might.